Okay, so for the first time, we're actually in the office where the, the game is being worked on. I thought I'd show you around. We've got some concept art. I teased a, a little image a couple videos ago, but there's a lot more that's been done in the, in the past few weeks. So I figured maybe you'd be interested in, uh, in checking out some of the artwork that's, that's going to be going into the game. I'm here with Vern and Jira, who are leading the, uh, the art direction for the game. And uh, I thought we could take a look at, at some of the stuff they've worked on. So in the game, We've got, uh, at the moment, nine active blocks, so weapons, support blocks, uh, the core, and um, some art for them. So I don't know if you wanted to, to go over some of what you've done for it. You know, it's a game full of a lot of, you know, bricks and blocks and stuff, and so in order to keep that from getting uh, a little boring, we decided to throw some life into it by adding characters that uh, are a bit ridiculous, a bit fun. Um, Right, like right here, the concept art is archers. These archers uh, are pretty much minions that are expendable that you can, you know, explode and throw around, and they're really not worth anything. But they they have a purpose as archers that you know continually help you. So, um, so when you go through here, um, from the archers, uh, we were able to. They're the first things we designed. We were able to design others that uh, were also just as cool. Um, at least to me. <laughs> the uh, catapult guys, the, the Munch brothers in our heads. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, you know, we sit here doing stupid voices and everything. <laughs> but um, yeah, right here, this is showing the actual catapult concepts. And when we're designing this, we have to keep in mind um, all of the different ways the, the game is going to function. From uh, being that it's a person to person game, we are going to have to have uh, time to think waiting, we're going to have to have idols, and we're going to have to have points of recharge time for each of your weapons. So as things are recharging, we have to know, you know the percentage and the number of actual frames that will not only look good, but be uh, you know easy on your phone and or your tablet, and then uh, also totally function. So when, uh, when your characters get blown up, you'll actually feel really bad for them because I don't know, you'll become attached to them and stuff, because they're not just blocks, they're gonna be like characters that have their own personalities. Or you'll be and really stuff. happy because you hate them. <laughs> I, I mean hopefully you like your own. Maybe you hate the enemies and then you'll be really happy. I don't know, it's kinda of like torturing ants. <laughs> just, yes. <laughs> so it it's a game that's you build your castle out of blocks, but visually in order to keep that interesting. Um, and to avoid just it being a big tile display of a bunch of different blocks, um, they're, they're setting something up with the art to where as you put blocks down, when you actually go into the game, they merge together in, into different shapes so that it keeps the, uh, the, the layout visually engaging, more or less. So here we have a, a screenshot of that. Uh, yeah, we were finding that as you start building, everything was really getting repetitive and uh, wasn't looking that cool. And so, you know, we were doing a lot of different arts, a lot of different concept pieces, and uh, none of it was, you know, it was all just looking like a bunch of blocks on each other. It wasn't looking like a castle, and it wasn't fun. Um, but we decided to come up with that way, where everything starts merging, and, you know, it's still a pretty simple way of doing it, but it looks a lot better, and it looks pretty cool. So as we're going through, um, you know, as you build the actual object, you see them one piece at a time. But actually, when you go play, um, you will see it as an actually fully formed piece with a bunch of chunks of pieces, and different types of materials, and um, you, know, you can paint whatever you want in there. So, speaking of different types of materials, I don't know if you wanted to bring up a, an image of some of the, the art for the different types of uh, building blocks. Yeah. Um, so, these were the original concepts of stuff where uh, these are actually the building blocks we're going to use, but these are just concepts. So we're, we're going to be using you know, wood, brick, lead, copper, stone, uh, and some others that you get when you're more advanced. But they, uh, as you get better materials, you know, they take more hits, they can protect things. So the whole point of the game is so that you're protecting your core. So the, the higher tier blocks will they'll also cost more resource-wise to, to craft, and then as far as your actual your points that you have to spend on building your tower, um, arbitrary numbers, but maybe a, a piece of wood costs one point to put it down, and then that's out of 300 at the moment. Again, numbers could change, but then a piece of iron may cost eight to put down, so you just have to decide what uh, what you want to put down to, to maximize the, 
the strength of your tower. All right, cool. Well, that's just a, a really brief look at some of the concept art that's been done so far. Uh, as time goes by, I'm sure we'll be filming a lot more in here, showing you more cool stuff, and uh, I will keep you updated on, uh, on the progress of things. But uh, for now, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and uh, I guess I'll see you next time.